brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So I'm in a little dilemma that I've almost been dealing with for almost a year with my vehicle. Okay. Um, after attempting to make a repair, um, I started having the same issues. Now I need a new engine. Um, I still owe about $65,000 on this vehicle that I've only had for a year and a half. Ooh, um, $65,000? What kind of vehicle is it? It's $65,000, um, and it's an Audi Q8 2019. Um, oh. I did buy it used, so it was a bad decision. I know now, but I do not know what to do. Um, on top of that, I do have student loan debt about $32,000 and about $2,000 in credit card debt. So I'm looking at around $100,000 that I made it. So... My question is, I don't know what to do with this vehicle. Um, the warranty company only wants to cover about $7,000 for a total repair that costs 20000 so I would have to come out of pocket. Um, I don't know if I should get rid of this vehicle. I don't know how much they would give me for the vehicle, the dealership. Um, well, you, they haven't given me that answer yet. But I, I wouldn't give it to the dealership. What how, what's it worth? If you don't repair it, what's it worth? If you were to sell it, um, one now it doesn't have an engine, right? I would have to get a new engine. So I'm thinking around thirty thousand dollars. I honestly don't know. And it's going to cost seven thousand out of your pocket. You said to get it fixed. No, the warranty company is willing to give me seven thousand. Why are they only per, willing to cover per, a third of it? I have no idea. Either they and cover it or they don't. I'm confused why they go. Well, it's kind of our fault. So. Guess we'll cover seven yeah, grand. They, Audi made a Audi made a repair. Um, two weeks later, I get my car. Well, I get my car back after a few months, and then two weeks later, after I gave my vehicle back, I had the same issues. But now my engine went out. I, I would fight start. this so, to where they cover the full twenty k. That's personally what I would do. Is I probably would not sleep, and I would just badger them uh-huh. and wear them down until they go. All right, she's a squeaky wheel. Let's just cover this repair. Yeah, I honestly, we've been doing a lot of work company since November. Speak so directly in your I, phone, Danielle. We're having a hard time hearing you. Sorry. Okay. So they pretty much told me that um, I've been dealing with this since November of 2023. So as you can see, we're... What are you driving June, now? And, well, um, Audi gave me a loaner vehicle, so... That you still have. I've been driving... Yes, I still have the loaner vehicle. Do you, do you have any I'm money saved? Paying. I do not have any money saved. Um, are I you recently single? Got, yes. What do you make a year? Uh, 65K. Girlfriend, oh girlfriend, girlfriend. Oh, my girlfriend. goodness. What were you thinking buying us? How much did this yeah. car cost you? 70 grand? Yeah, around 75 grand. Oh. Do you? Uh, yeah. I, okay. What's the payment I on know, this amount? I know. Um, the payment is high. Um, what is it? So I'm currently, it's about $1,600 a month. Plus Girlfriend, $1,600? I'm paying, a, yes. What's the interest rate? 12%. Woo! Um, Jade's stretching. She, needed, no, she needed, I, might need to take a walk. I need yeah, to take a walk. I, I totally, I totally got screwed. No, this. you I, didn't get screwed. You chose this. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah, you chose I, it because yes. here's. I just yes. want you to know, I what I want to, I need to be able to sleep tonight. And so I need to understand that had you not had any engine problems, let's just pretend this last year was gravy and you had no engine problems. You're just paying $1,600 no. yeah. a month on a $75,000 vehicle when you make 65000 I was hoping you were going to say, yeah, yeah I make 200000 And I'm like, okay, this tracks. I Did wish. you know it wasn't I good? Wish. Like the, the first two um, months were you like, time, dang. Um, honestly, at first I was renting out that vehicle, so I didn't have those payments. Um, you were renting it out like on Turo or something? Yeah. Yeah. So, so you I fell for the scheme was, that I'm going to make money off this and they'll pay the payment for me. Uh, pretty much. And then, um, my other vehicle that I had, it ended up getting stolen from me. So I ended up using the Audi and then, um, someone yeah, stole your vehicle. Yes. <laughs> My and they never vehicle. found it? They never found it, no. Here's what I Did would... insurance cover it? Yes. I got insurance and gap, so they did cover it. And what'd you do with the insurance money? Yes. They didn't give me anything because I had still owed on that vehicle. Oh, my. It's not so, your first rodeo making now, bad decisions. 
Yeah, I know. So this vehicle, I I don't I don't know what to do. So tell me um, again. You said it before, but I was writing down. So uh, warranty so far is only going to pay seven k. What are you on the hook for? I would have to pay the difference. They say the total cost would be about twenty k just to get a new engine. Okay, so, so you're on for 13. Out, let's play out both scenarios. Let's say you sold it as is and you get 30K. That's what you told us. That means you're in the hole 35K where you need to go out and find $35,000, whether it's your own money or getting a loan. You need to go into debt another 35K. The other option is you're in debt 13 extra thousand to cover this engine repair because the warranty company is going to cover seven, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So on paper, option B is a better option. Mm -hmm. They're both terrible. But that's a better option right now is and that you, you get the sell. engine repaired and then you're able to at least sell it. Yeah. So um, that's what I would do if I, I was in your shoes. Whatever too. you need to do to get this engine repaired, do that and then sell the vehicle immediately. But not to the dealer. Not to the, They're going to screw you on this deal because they already did. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to sell a private party to get the most value out of and it. And I want you to talk to... I want you to get with somebody on this because cars... I know you've been trying to make it your thing, but I don't think it's your thing. And so find the wisest person that you know. I don't know if that's dad or big brother or a cousin or your best friend's brother, whoever it is, get with that person when it's time to sell this vehicle and when it's time to get this vehicle fixed because I don't want them taking you for a ride um, figuratively when it comes to the price anymore on this. I just feel like you've been screwed every way, which way possible. And I don't want that to continue for you um, on the on the fixing or the sale of this vehicle. And from here on out, George, tell her the rule on buying these cars from here on out. I think you should buy the cheapest car possible, Danielle, at this point. But the I parameter at Ramsey is yeah. you pay cash. It's a used car, unless you're Ooh. a millionaire, probably four plus years old. And the value of the vehicle is no more than half of your annual income. The value of all things with wheels and motors. So for you, if that's one vehicle, which do you have multiple toys or vehicles? No, it's just my only this vehicle. This is it. It's only one. Okay. And so right now, that would mean with your $65,000 income, you would buy no more than about a $30,000 car. When the time comes in and cash. I still think that's, f you don't need to worry about that mm -hmm. until you're out of debt completely. You get the student loans knocked out, the credit cards knocked out, you have an emergency fund. Let's get the income up. Then let's save up and pay cash. So this could be years down the road. But for now, we need to figure out a way to get that 13 grand. That might be you go to a credit union if, you yeah. if your credit's not shot already and you go, hey, I need 13 grand to cover the difference to get this engine fixed to then. Do you have the, the car loan through someone? Um, it's through, um, through Wells Fargo. So, okay. Yes. You might want to go uh, to them and say, listen, you got bad collateral on this thing because it's only worth 30 right now. I owe you 65. Yeah. I want to get this loan paid off. It's impossible right now unless you guys loan me this mm -hmm. 13K on a personal loan to get this engine replaced. Yeah, my credit's good. Um, I don't have an issue with that. It's okay, just, then let's do it. I made a bad decision. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's, that's what I would do, Danielle, and it's going to hurt. And God bless the USA when we can be $100,000 in consumer debt, but we have great credit by gosh. Look at that, Jade. I got an 850, but I don't have 800 bucks in the bank account, and I'm $100,000 in debt. That is the American way. I can't even respond. I'm shooketh. She hath been shooketh. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.